city, pal. I ain't shy about you. Now, I'm trying to take her out for a spin. What is this you wait for? Go and get this idiot! <laughs> I'm coming, and Rapture's a fish tank. Shy, you let him get away. Oh, I need a moment for thinking. Ah, of course. This will be no problem. Find a big daddy and search his body. I would suggest you to be finding a dead one. You see the suit control system? So good, get it. That is step one of turning you into one of those disgusting big dead. The only way to get through that door, Fontaine, when through is to have a little one open it for you. And they will only try to see if you look like, sound like, and even smell like one of those big dead. We bred little ones to imprint to certain smells, the pheromones. But this is not like putting on aftershave. You will need three industrial applications of this stuff, and then the little ones will be drawn to you like a bee in honey. You will have to gather three pheromones here, so that you smell disgusting, just like a big daddy. Be glad I am nowhere near you and that awful sink. Why the little ones are drawn to the smell of those pheromones is beyond anything I can understand.
Are you afraid of me, monster? Now you need only to find the bodysuit and the voice box from the other labs, and you will be a proper brute. Get I moving.
Just the Ryan takes this place here at where they build that filthy skull of Frankenstein. Find the key to the city. Sky. Leave me! <laughs> the body suits and a pair of boots.
run the table in this place. Now there's nothing left for you but a long, cold night. <laughs> You. We will make Big Daddy out of you yet, I think. There is only one piece missing. The voice box modification machine in optimized eugenics. Are you... Where are you gonna go? Your wife? Your family? They're a fairy tale, kid. No more real than something you read about in the Saturday evening post. Poor bastard. A motherless freak. Whipped up in a half-baked science experiment. Where do you think you're going? You need to become a big daddy before you are able to draw out the little one. The three things. Three Has Mother Goose really got her hooks into you? You can knock Ryan all you want, but the old man was bingo on one point of fact. You won't even walk till somebody says go. Well... You'll be finding the voice box to have sound like one of those big daddy repulsive creatures. showed some foresight when he built up the plasmid business. But the man really never understood the same. Hiding those little girls beneath a bushel. I've just seen the preliminary design work on the new plasmid machines, and they're exactly what I wanted. Mark my words. Presented properly, those little sisters are marketing gold.
I'm not a failure! to the little sister vent by the proving ground. hiding and then they'll let you in the door. Go on, hit the vent with your wrench. On the better. It would mean very much to me if you will be gentle with the girl. Mein kleines Mädchen. will leave you to stop day, but you must protect them. That's it, kid. It's been a long road. You don't even remember most of it. 
Slowpoke, Mr. B. Angels don't wait for slowpokes. <laughs> I really wound you up with that wife and child bit. Oh, me poor Moira. I me wee baby Patrick. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll get me a real family. Hurry, Mr. B. I can see the
Maybe I can see the angels dancing in the sky. <laughs> But I should pull of a command entitled to a few mistakes. Hurry! Hurry, Mr. Bubbles! Than alone, alone in the crawling darkness. Don't be a slowpoke, Mr. B. Angels don't wait for slowpokes.
the evil of their little sister to drain Fontaine of his Adam. It is the only way to defeat him. Fontaine waits the buff. There will be no going back from here. Make sure you are ready to face him before moving on. <laughs> 